You know, one thing about USC football is that anytime you have a couple of guys hit the portal, people start thinking that the world is falling apart down there in Los Angeles. And everybody just has it up for Lincoln Riley for some reason. So USC has some kind of transfer portal, mass exodus going on. They lost hella former five stars. You lost a defensive end who was a former five star. Corey Foreman, he hit the portal. Five-star quarterback, Holly Tolly QB coming out of last year's recruiting class. Malachi Nelson, he hit the portal as well. Then you got Dermani Jackson, who was really productive this season, by the way. He hit the portal. What the hell is going on? Is this a reason to be concerned if you're a Trojans fan? I don't think so. Why? I mean, you're losing... A lot of talented guys who were coming out of high school who played on the defense that sucked last year. Why are people freaking out about this? Oh, oh Lincoln Riley, he, he's losing to the USC. They're losing all these players to the portal. USC is going through the same exact thing that the rest of the other teams in college football are suffering right now. You're getting into bowl season, and some of your best players or players that were highly tally coming out of high school are hitting the portal. Is USC the only program going through this? No. Why is it that people want to make it seem like when USC loses a couple of transfer portal, lo you loses a couple of guys to the transfer portal, they're the only team that's suffering through it. No. Texas A&M just lost arguably their most talented wide receiver to the portal. They're not the only program going through this, people. There's no reason to panic and freak out like the world is falling. It's not. This defense sucked last year. Nobody should really even have a spot solidified on this defense. Everybody who started on this defense last year has to prove themselves. You got a new defensive coordinator in the Lynn, and he's going to make some changes, and he's going to revamp that defense. And if I'm the Lynn, I wouldn't want none of these scrubs who started on this defense last year. This defense couldn't stop anybody. They allowed a pig farmer to put them in the field goal range to win the game. Like, this defense was atrocious last year. Who cares if they lose a couple of guys to the portal? It's not like they were that good anyway, and most of these guys that's hitting the portal... They didn't even really have too much playing time anyway. For example, Corey Foreman. This dude has been at USC for three years, damn near, and barely I saw the field. He hasn't even had a sack since 2021, and people are freaking out about this like it's a big loss. One thing about USC, they can lose a few talented guys to the portal, and they can bring and replace those guys with just as talented guys from the portal. You want to know why? Because they have money and resources. This is nothing to worry about. They lost a few guys, and they're going to bring more in. That's just how it goes in today's age of college football. Why are people making this such a bigger deal than what it is? Because it's not even a big issue at all. This is college football, people. This is the time when the majority of the players who were riding the bench for the past couple of seasons start looking at their options, and they start hitting that portal. This isn't something that nobody else is going through. The majority of programs in college football are suffering through the same thing, but I don't see nobody else going crazy over it. I don't see nobody else making a big issue over it. But because it's USC and Lincoln Riley is coming off the worst season of his coaching career, the Trojans should be concerned. They shouldn't be concerned. All right. They're going to replace those guys. They're going to find maybe even better guys in the portal who can come in and actually have a significant impact on the Trojans actually having a respectable defense this year. Like, we're freaking out over guys hitting the portal on defense that didn't even touch the field. They were play watchers. They were watching the game on the bench. Why, why, why are we freaking out about this? Why are we making this such a big deal? Trojans fans probably aren't tripping over this, but for the teams in the Big Ten like Michigan and Ohio State and Penn State, yeah, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen y'all, I've seen y'all coming at USC saying, oh, they're gonna be, they're gonna be in trouble when they get into the Big Ten. All oh, these talented players exiting the program. What's going on? What's going on is that it's transfer portal season. 
Stop acting like you guys don't know how this thing works. You've been watching football just as long as I've been watching football, especially college football. The transfer portal has been around for a couple of years now. In the month of December, this is where you start to see the most amount of players enter the portal. Like when you got a talented roster and you recruit at a very high level, there are going to be players who are going to want to leave if they're not seeing the field. But what, what's the big issue with this? USC is fine. All right. If you're a Penn State fan and you're a Michigan fan or a Ohio State fan and you're one of the people that's trying to make a big deal over this, you need to worry about your program. You need to worry about your team when USC comes ready to play. Because if this team has a defense this year that's even remotely as good as what UCLA's defense was this past year on the Deanne Lynn, college football is going to be in a world of trouble because USC is going to be good enough to win it all. They just got former Kansas State quarterback Will Howard in the transfer portal. Malachi Nelson, he was a little bit of a letdown. He wasn't really expected to ever see the field at USC. He wasn't really that great, according to reports and what people were saying about him and how he played in practice and whatnot. Losing him is not really a big issue. Lincoln Riley is the quarterback guru. His last couple of quarterbacks have all had success in the NFL and have won the Heisman. Trust me, there are plenty of the quarterbacks out there that are highly touted five stars or four stars in high school right now that are just jumping at the bit to play for Lincoln Riley. If you want to get to the NFL and you want to be a potential first, second round pick, Lincoln Riley is the dude to go to who can get you there. Nobody should be worried about Malachi Nelson hitting the transfer portal. Yeah, he had a lot of potential and upside, but so did Dante Moore. There's been countless quarterbacks from last year's recruiting cycle that were hyped up and haven't really been able to live up to those high level of expectations. There's no reason to panic about USC football. They're fine. What they're going through is nothing different from what the rest of the sport is going through right now.